Hey guys, it's Em here. I am back in my kitchen with a cup of tea and some fabulous lighting. I just finished a look using this guy. Oh my god, the new Hourglass Volume 4 lighting edit. Ooh, yeah. If you guys want to see how I created this look, just keep watching. Every year, Hourglass do an edit, a limited edition um, edit of different colors, and there's always, you know, a beautiful case that they come in. So I guess really what we want to know is what's inside the palette. So let me show you guys. Give you an idea of what we're working with here. Um, over here, we've got the finishing powder in Dim Light. Um, Dim Light is obviously one of the most popular hourglass shades or types. And then second, we've got the finishing powder in Diffused Light. And next, we've got the strobe powder in Euphoric Strobe Light, which is beautiful, like it's so luminous. We've got the bronzer. So this is one of the um, limited edition colors. Up next is the blush, which is Luminous Glow. Um, and this is another limited edition color as part of the palette. The final one is the Strobe Blush in Euphoric Fusion. Um, and this is already part of the Hourglass range. All right, so let's jump into the look. So I'm gonna take my powder brush, going in with dim light and just going to press that in. I think the reason dim light is such a popular shade is because it's a powder, yes, but it never looks heavy or cakey. It still has that really beautiful kind of luminous finish to it. So I think this palette's really gonna sort of save my complexion today. It's gonna make me look like I had a full nine hours sleep when maybe I was dancing. I'm just going to take a little bit more and sort of get right underneath the eyes there and sort of press it in. I'm going to take a blush brush here and I'm going to use this bronze color just to kind of give some depth and a little bit of warmth and color to the face. So grabbing some of this color. Let's go with this cheekbone first. And working that all the way up. Make sure you get all the way up to that hairline. I am already feeling a lot more awake and less like a ghost. It's so beautiful, really subtle, but you can build it up if you do want a more intense kind of bronze look as well. So taking obviously luminous glow. So taking the same brush that I contoured with. I love that you get that color and that beautiful peachy pink, but then there's this, just like this radiance that comes through on the skin. So now it is time to highlight and I am going to be using this color here to highlight which is the strobe powder in euphoric strobe light. I'm actually going to take my fan brush here and I'm going to uh, wet it and to wet it I'm just going to use my MAC Fix Plus which is... So now onto the eyes. So I'm going to take dim light again, which is this color here, and just set the top of the eyelids where I have concealer already. And I'm gonna just take that all the way up towards the brow bones. I'm going to contour and warm up the socket of the eye. So taking the bronzer color here, filtered bronze light, and same brush again, warming up that eye. You literally have so many colors within this to create an eye look as well as, you know, setting a full face of makeup or using a blush or a bronzer or a highlight. And it kind of helps to tie the rest of the look together because obviously, you know, we've added a little bit of the bronzer over the rest of the face. And then I want to have a little bit of a play with uh, this one here, which is the Euphoric Fusion. So it's a strobe blush. So it's sort of like highlight meets blush in one. Um, powder. So taking this one here again, going in and just maybe adding that on the outer corner. So it's got almost a kind of mauve effect to it and that's just kind of deepening up the outer corner of the eye. I'm going to add a little bit of colour underneath the eye as well. So just taking both of these colours here, the bronzer and the strobe blush and just using a little sort of bullet brush here. I'm gonna take the blush 
again and I'm just going to use my finger and apply just a pop of pink right in the middle of the eye. I'm going to take the final colour that we haven't touched yet and this is the diffused light and taking my uh, bullet brush again I'm just going to add some of this right into the inner corner of the eye. So I have successfully managed to use every colour in the palette which is very exciting and I'm so happy with the sort of natural you know look that that's given me obviously you can layer the colors up literally until your heart's content depending on how intense you want the color to be so time for a little bit of mascara just to sort of complete the look um, here i have the nars climax mascara which i love this is such a nice one for everyday wear um, because it does give the lashes a really nice lift as well as some volume, as you can see here, but nothing too crazy. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of color to the lips, uh, because why not? Like we're here, I've done the look. I am going to take the Urban Decay Back Talk in the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick range, and I'm just gonna, I like to kind of just apply this pretty roughly and use it a bit more sort of like a stain, if you will. And then something I also like to do with this one is add the NARS Orgasm Balm, just to give it a bit of a shimmer. Maybe I'll set my face while I'm here, while this is here. Let's do it. Yes. So there you have it, the finished look using the new Hourglass Volume 4 Lighting Edit. Oh God. It's so, so beautiful. It really does create the most gorgeous, natural looks. Thank you for watching and joining me in my kitchen again today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and I can't wait to see you guys again soon. Bye.